Uh, what we're going to do now is I'm going to show you one linked around the world. OK, so some of you guys haven't seen us. We do have a world map within Digimap for schools now. OK, so I'm just going to zoom my map out and then clicking on the button underneath the plus and minus bar on the right hand side. We'll zoom my map out to show you the full extent. So I can now see the world map. So the exercise we're going to do now looks at location knowledge at key stage two. Uh, we're looking at countries. We're looking at uh, Europe, North and South America, major cities. But the key one we're going to mention here are time zones. So looking at time zones and locations. And of course, this brings in hemisphere and day and night. So we have a really, really useful time zones overlay that you can put onto your map. So what I'm going to do on the map selector on the, on the map here is I'm just going to change my view to an atlas view. So rather than seeing the physical map, I can now see the outlines of the countries. And I'm going to come over to the tab on the left that says overlays. So we've got a, a bunch of overlays here that you can use. And I'm going to use the world time zone one. So this time when I click on it, you will see it will overlay the world time zones on that particular map. So a really nice, useful layer to be able to use with your pupils. Now, what they can also do, link in as well some maths because you kind of mathematic calculations in there. So we're going to do a little bit of maths and we're going to look at place and location and see if we can find places on the map and work out the time zones. Now, what I'm going to do here is you get a transparency level. So I'm just going to fade back the time zones a little bit so that we can see the countries underneath. And what I've done to prep this is I've created a little time zone quiz. So I've put it, not this up in Word, but I've um, put it into paint and saved it as an image so I can upload it onto my map. So using our photo tool again, this time I can link in my quiz. So I'm just going to go and find that. Now, anything that's a JPEG image will go into that photo box. So you can create things as JPEGs and upload them. So there's my little time zone link. I'm going to add that one. I'm going to upload this. Fingers crossed it appears. And then I'm going to click into that and make it a little bit bigger. So we can see my time zone quiz. So I've asked a number of questions here. So as you can see, we can work across the question. So the first one is looking at a simple one. If it's 12 p.m. in England, what time would it be in Madagascar? So you can view this on the map quite easy where Madagascar is, but we can see where London is. So we can work out that Madagascar is actually plus three. So can we work out what time it will be? It'd be three o'clock in the afternoon. So let's take one a little bit more difficult. So let's take the one where it says Moscow and Vladivostok. So your pupils may not know where these places are, but we can go and search in the very detailed gazetteer at the top here. And it can take me to world places and I can find Moscow. So there's the center of Moscow. So all I'm going to do on the drawing tools here is I'm going to place a marker. So I'm going to click on the marker tool. So I'm going to click on here so I can see where Moscow is. And then the next search I'm going to do is I'm going to do Vladivostok. Remember how to spell it more importantly. And it will take me to Vladivostok. And then all I'm going to do is put a marker on there. So this time when I zoom out to the extent of my map, I can see those two places located on the map. So it's location, those world places. OK, so we can say which part, which continent are they in? So Moscow does it. That's it's in Europe. Vladivostok sits in Asia. And then all to work out our time zones, we can count the color time zones. So we can see plus four, plus five, plus six, plus seven, plus eight, plus nine, plus ten, right down to plus eleven. So one, it shows us as well for you guys at primary level who do Russia as your study center, one, how vast Russia is when you're looking at it as, a, as a whole. But we, two, we can see how big the different time zones across this country are and how huge it is. So we can look at those world places. And I'm going to go off and do another one here. So I've got Toronto to Cape Town. So we don't necessarily know where these are. So again, all I'm going to do is do a very quick search on Toronto. And find these two places. Remembering to go to the one in Canada. And again, pop a marker on Toronto. And then I'm going to put Cape Town again into the search. And pop one on Cape Town. 
So again, this time when I zoom out to the extent, I can see those two places on the on, across my continent. So we're in two different continents. And this time we're asking the question, if it's 8 a.m. there, what time is it in in Cape Town? So this time, rather than going backwards, we have to work out, are we going plus or are we going minus? So looking at those. Now, an extra element that you can actually add is we can add a measurement as well. So if we want to see how far these two particular places are apart, we can work out the approximate distance of what they are. So I'm going to come over to the tools on the left-hand panel, coming down to the measurement tool, which is our fifth one down. And I can click from Toronto over to Cape Town, my two markers, and double click. And it will then show me the distance in kilometers between those two points. So not only can we look at the time zones are where these places are, we can work out the distances between places and points. So it's a really nice one to, to work with here. We get the kilometers and you can see on the left-hand panel, if you want the miles, you can also add the miles. So you can make up your own little time zone quiz. We'll see if we can pop this up as part of the webinar resources. So you can take this one as well as you like. But like I said, this one's a really nice one because it links in lots of that world European geography, looking specifically at that word that says time zones of the ski stage two curriculum as well.